Hello everyone, Rare Modern Reviews here. And today we have a long and <laughs> very much awaited, for me at least, Full Mechanics Raider Gundam. Now this is something I pre-ordered like almost immediately when they announced this thing. And I have to say, um, it took this thing so long to come, I almost was ready to just cancel my pre-order. So I'm guessing, uh, Sites like Hoglink Japan and of course uh, all the consumers from Japan themselves got their hands on this thing first and I'm guessing it must have been a very hot item because I'm pretty sure this thing released in June and as you can see it's August I'm finally getting this thing <laughs> but nonetheless now that it's here I'm starting to get my excitement back for it and I'm sure at this point you guys are just saying oh this guy's a seed fan but everything gets a seed well you know, I'm not gonna lie, I do really like C. <laughs> it's not my favorite series, but it's definitely up there. So, the food mechanics line was always something that confused me because these things are like a slight step down from uh, the master grade line, in my opinion. Like, this thing basically is going to have everything but a, a full inner frame and a, a cockpit opening hatch, and of course, like the pilot figures. Besides that, as you can see from just like the pictures here, I'm not sure if you guys like pause this to look at them or whatnot, but this thing is like extremely detailed. Like just look at that. This claw is gonna be articulated, that stands on it. This isn't really much of a feature. This is just them saying, hey, why don't you try doing this? That's literally just you stacking two kits on top of each other with action bases. You can do that with basically anything, but in case you're curious about the bottle. <coughs> and um, what do we have here? Okay. Oh, always like okay, yeah. Pretty sure these little sticker things are like bi-monthly type things. So if you see my last unboxing, you have uh, seen that one. And then the little news thing is the same too. I remember seeing these. Yeah. So I'm actually gonna throw this box on the ground here, make this a little easier. So we're gonna go. Take a look inside this guy here. I also want to mention this Bandai Namco logo is new. I haven't seen that one before. But yeah. So we have, I'm guessing this is part of the A play or something here. Oh no, this is I1. Yep, I2 in the back. So we have some reds there. Got these uh, deep black parts here. I'm going to assume these are for the claws. Like, I, I thought this would have been white. It's actually the kind of a greenish or I guess the one would that be? I, no, I don't think that'd be ivory, but okay. So this is gonna be for the hammer here, Munir. It's actually, um, I can't call that gray. It's kind of almost a purplish gray color. It's weird. So yeah, some definitely some interesting uh, colors. Okay. So this is gonna be for the, looks like the eyes and some of the cameras around the guns. Uh, I'm noticing that this is the clear green parts for the eye, so I wonder if we're gonna have another Gundam X, uh, Gundam Double X here where they give you clear green stickers and whatnot, but um, not clear green. I guess it's kind of clear, but you, you get what I mean. They have clear green pieces here and they, put, they have you put a sticker over it anyway, which is kind of weird and a waste. So as so you see there, yeah, look, those were the um, sticker decals. Oh wait, <laughs> wait a minute, I just realized this. Hold on, I had to take a little double take. Oh, that's funny. It says the extermination, obliteration, and destroy. That's the thing he, he yells when he uh, <laughs> he uses his hammers. That's pretty funny. All right, I see where they want you to put the oil and just kind of, hey, use this, whatever. Or whatever. So yeah, some more black. Mm. I guess, I think this is black. No, 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 yeah, that's black and right. Alright, then if you guys didn't know if you look at the box, this thing actually is gonna have a stand here. I believe this is for the Munir uh Gundam hammer there for you to um use. I guess this is gonna have something to do with the transformation. I don't know if that's something you kinda add on to the layer or if it's just actually an internal thing, but I have some more pieces there. So this is, look at some of these pieces, they almost look inner frame-ish, but like I said, this is a full mechanics. I don't, if this thing is anything like the Calamity, it's gonna sort of have some sort of internal structure, but again, it's not quite an inner frame to the point where you could pose it off without any armor pieces in it. You know, it have that inner frame look. It's 
gonna kind of not quite look like that. So just look at some of these places. It must reuse some parts from um, the calamities. I'm seeing a lot of X's here. So I'm actually very interested to look at that. So I built the calamity not too long ago, so it's still kind of fresh. And this must be a stand used over from another kit. Judging by the CE1, yeah, something used this stand before. So of course, just have the standard to see what parts are built first. That's interesting to have you build the arms first. Usually it's like the chest or something. Actually, wait, is this the... Oh, that's the head. Okay, just they didn't show the head by itself. It's weirder than to do. I guess it's because they kind of want you to put the body and the head together. So they put them together on one sticker. Now, the Raiders transmission isn't too complicated. So I'm hoping as a result, this going to be much more stable and um, the transformation won't be a pain in the butt to do. I don't think it will be, but yeah. So definitely looking forward to this build. Let's see how this thing um, shakes out. It's out of the three boosted men, Clodo, Viewer, the pilot, and uh, the Raider Gundam are definitely my favorites. So. I, first and foremost, I was like, wait a minute, they didn't have a master grade this thing? This and the other group, uh, two? So the fact that they had about them full mechanics and all that, I'm like, okay. Guys are finally getting their comeuppance. A little strange they didn't, again, um, just make a master grade because they have had the, the C kits. They had the, um, the frame they were reusing for those, kind of like they did with the, um, the wing kits. So you think they would have just milked that for all they, they had. They already made so many with them from the, the, the five Gat Series suits to the, you know, the Freedom, Justice, and the Providence. I'm pretty sure they all use that same frame structure. So I, I don't get why they didn't just use that and make a master instead of this. Because you, you think this would make um, less sense i mean it, it just seems like this would be more money to do rather than um the master grade because i skipped out a few details sure but they still basically had to start from scratch with the calamity if i'm not mistaken they maybe use a few things here and there from the master grade but or master grades but i don't know it's honestly if they don't make any more full mechanics maybe they'll make a calamity and end it there i wouldn't blame them because again it's just the full mechanic line is so weird. It's basically the master grid line, but they're giving themselves excuses to cheap out on a few things here and there. And it's just like, you know, ugh. But one thing I can't praise about the full mechanics line, at least from the Calamity I built is, it's basically as easy as building a high grade, easy and quick, I should say, but it's like, almost as detailed as a master grade. Like, look, even does the bracket hands. That's like what the master grades are using them. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure regardless, I'll still give this a good recommend, uh, recommended rating <laughs> when I get to get around to reviewing this thing. But again, it's just, I can't help but to be confused and, you know, just, you know, tongue twisted. <laughs> Uh, about this line, because this line just seems so pointless to me, you know. You already had the RE line, which that one made a little bit more sense because those things were super duper cost cutting. They didn't really finally start getting them in a good spot until they released the Zaku Kai, and then they kind of canceled the line basically. And now you'll really see P Bandai releases from it. So I can't tell. Uh, looks like there's a little groove here in the feet for you to actually securely mount this thing to the uh, calamity. I'm guessing it's more so weight that'll stop you from just putting it on. I know you probably wouldn't be able to put this on an act. Well, no. Look at this pose. You'd think you'd be able to. I hear this thing actually has three action bases. I, I want to say at least one of them comes with it, but the other two you have to buy, which I think I do have plenty of action bases. One being a four, one being a five. So hopefully that'd be enough. I'd be kind of bummed if I can't show this thing off during the um, review, but we'll find out soon enough about that. Now, just a heads up. I'm sure you guys probably knew. If you didn't, 
I indeed built the um, Highbury Wyndham and reviewed it. I'm gonna do the Dagger L. I might honestly just end up going straight into building this thing right after. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys, I actually started to build the, um, the Banshee Norn. I, I ended up doing the accessories first because I actually have a, a, a normal Master Grade Banshee. So I was thinking of just kind of switching out a few parts and whatnot, just so I could review that thing real quick and then I build the rest of it like later on. <laughs> but that thing's kind of on hold right now. So I got so many more kits. I'm honestly a bit more excited to build than it. So um, pretty much you, 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 <laughs> you just really have to tune in to see what is reviewed next. Cause you never know. I, I assure you guys just knew from, or no, from looking at a lot of my backlogs of unboxings and whatnot, there's quite a few kits I've uh, unboxed and still haven't built yet, you know. I've had a lot stacked up and even more coming. So, I, <laughs> geez, I don't know what's wrong with me today. I just like, I can't find my words today. But um, I thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, like, comment, and subscribe. And this has been Rare Modern Reviews. See you in the next review.